Why did in Bible uh, men, women, children were killed yeah. and donkeys? Okay, you just you just misrepresented our Bible. Look, let me spell that. Not you did. Oh God. Okay. Can I say something? You never, ever. She's gonna answer it to you. My scripture. Never, never, ever butcher my scripture. Okay. You're, you're still never do that. And I'll put my hands up and I will admit, that I'll be the first to admit, Shabir, that the violence in the Old Testament is much greater than the violence in the Quran. I'll be the first to admit that. It is much greater. It's horrendous violence. In Joshua, chapter 6, verse 20, where Joshua commands the people to go in and kill all men, women, and children, even live animals. Never, never, ever butcher my scripture. Okay? You're, you're never do that. Why does Jesus, in your Bible, order the slaughter of women, babies, and children in 1 Samuel 15? Do you condemn that? Never, never, ever butcher my scripture. Okay? Never do that. You know what I'm saying? So I would always poke holes in these different religions and the different religious texts and be like, you know, this is inconsistent, this contradicts such and such, or this version of God is very uh, violent and disturbing, you know what I'm saying? And so it's very easy for me to do that, right? But when it came to my own faith, and when I would notice inconsistencies or contradictions even in the Bible, or even see like disturbing behaviors of God in both the Old and in the New Testament, it's like I didn't apply the same standard that I would do when I would study different religions, you know what I'm saying? So if I were to see a contradiction in the Bible, in my version of the Bible, the Protestant one, you know, I would just be like, oh well, it, it can be reconciled somehow, or this version of God just seems very disturbing. Very, It's very clear, it's very apparent that, you know, it just seems wrong that this God would command genocide and infanticide, or even God's people, you know, that there's a sense of, of um, tribalism that was going on in the Bible. Um, there are these things that I would notice as I would read it throughout the years that I just kind of, you know, I don't know if I want to say be in denial, but it just, I wouldn't just clear, I'd say, okay, this is not right, you know, because I would already assume that the Bible was 100% true and God is good all the time. So all these supposedly apparent evil things that God is doing is just a mystery to me. I just had to plead mystery or God's ways are higher than my ways. You know, but like I said, if it came to another religious text, it's easy, oh, that's just not good, that version of God or Allah or blah, blah, blah. So like I was saying, the, the standards I would apply differently to my own faith. 